Hi Lana, uh, hello and welcome once again to Lana's Coach. So today I want to take a look at some of the best top 10 universities in Africa. Now, for some reason, uh, these universities seem to have just come from one country, right? Maybe uh, it's time for us to find out why they rank best, right? So if you're joining us for the very first time, I kindly take a second or two so that you become part of this particular uh, community. Now, my analysis, or rather the ranks, will be based from Shanghai ranking. As you can see, I've opened this particular website. Uh, it actually ranks the entire world universities, right? As you can see from the chart here, uh, Harvard University tops, uh, Stanford, followed by Stanford, and then the rest follows, right? We can see the best university in the world come from uh, the U.S. But we are specifically going to look at uh, the top 10 universities uh, that are found here in Africa. So if you're there and you're planning to join one of the universities in Africa, uh, then this particular video is going to be helpful so that at least to make some informed uh, decision. Now, based on this ranking of Shang uh, Shanghai, we can always maybe uh, tell uh, the best uh, the best uh, universities in Africa that offers world-class uh, courses, right? So I'll just move to the first university, and I think your guess is right. That is University of Cape Town, right? So University of Cape Town is one of the leading best universities in Africa, and I think it has dominated uh, this number one position for quite a while. So as you can see here, uh, it has been on top of this particular award uh, for quite a number of time, right? So you can see it is from South Africa. Uh, this is a university from South Africa. And maybe let's see what makes it uh, unique. So if we go to the, let's just move to the quick facts and see uh, what this particular university is all about. That is University of Cape Town, right? So it has a, a quite a number of faculty uh, graduate schools, uh, research, right? I think uh, research is one of the things that makes a particular uh, university to actually be well recognized. Apart from that, we can also look at the awards and achievements, uh, maybe from this particular uh, end. So as you can see, they have uh, quite a number of awards and achievements, and this is what has made this particular university actually excel, right? Uh, so from their website, you can see they have Alan Pifa Award, award-winning books, Chancellor Award of Leadership in Africa, Collaborative Education Practice Award, uh, Distinguished Teacher Award, Fellows of UT, UC, UCT Award, Social Res uh, Award, uh, Social Responsiveness Award, UCT Book Award, uh, Vice Chancellor's uh, Excellence Awards. So it has quite a number of awards, actually, that it has bagged, right? So if you're interested to read more about these particular awards, kindly just check within their website. Uh, in a nutshell, you can also find the history of this particular University of Cape Town, right? As you can see, uh, it, uh, it is one of the oldest university within Africa and also uh, research institutions. It was founded in the year 1829 as the South African College a High School for Boys. Actually, it has... Uh, developed into a fully, it actually developed into a fully fledged university during the period of between uh, 1880 to uh, 1900, right? Uh, thanks to increased funding from private resources, uh, private, uh, private sources and the government. Yes, so that's a very interesting, actually, uh, transformation uh, from the University of Cape Town. So more information you can check from their website. Let's move to the second university, and that is University of the Witwatersrand, uh, Witwatersrand, Johannesburg. <laughs> Famous, uh, famously known as Wits. I think I have issue even uh, pronouncing that long name, right? So Wits University is uh, the second best university in Africa. Again, this is from uh, Joburg, South Africa, right? So you can see it's celebrating 100 years of excellence. So it has been in this field of academics for a while. It boosts of having 41,000 students. And you can see it has 
uh, also bagged some awards. Uh, it also housed 1,500 academics, 6,000 employees, right? So actually, WIT is found in South Africa, right? This is the second university in Africa that actually is found in the same, same uh, country, that is uh, South Africa, right? So I don't know <laughs> what South Africa uh, is actually having that makes them uh, be leading in Africa, right, in all the academics, right? So yes, here is also another history of how it came to be, right? So it's a, uh, it originated from South Africa, right? That one you know. And you can read other stories about uh, this particular uh, university, right? Wits University. Let's look at the faculties and schools because that is the engine. And remember also it has some kind of research that it's performing. It has commercial law and management, engineering and the built environment, health sciences, architectures, science, humanity courses. So it offers quite a wide variety of courses, right, uh, that most of you might maybe uh, intend uh, to enroll in, right? So as well, uh, you can say it has some kind of research hub, right? And it also has some research that are ongoing, as you can see. Right. It also, it also has some innovation center that makes it a little bit unique. Right. They also have postgraduate office that cuts across all the disciplines. Right. So ideally, that is uh, the second best, as per the Shanghai uh, innovations or other rankings that you've already seen. Uh, the third one is uh, uh, Stellenbosch, Stellenbosch University. Uh, Stellenbosch University, uh, your guess is right, also is from South Africa, right? So these are top three, uh, top three universities that come from the same, same country, right? So you can see it has uh, quite a number of, um, let's see, faculties. We have agri sciences, education, engineering, there are quite a number, uh, which is good, right? They also have some kind of uh, uh, research. If you look at about us, maybe we can, I don't know if we can get some uh, just snapshot of what the Stel uh, Stellen Bosch University is all about, right? So it has uh, some academic excellence in research and innovation, as you can see. It also has some faculties and campuses, uh, quite a number, which is good. It also boasts with having a, a vibrant student communities, right? So ideally, as you can see, those are some of the things that makes this particular uh, university uh, stand out as number three in Africa, right? So if you're interested, you can also always check on this particular website for more information. Mine here is just to uh, list for you, or rather mention uh, this particular university. Number four, <coughs> we have a University of Joburg at number four. And of course, it also it's also from South Africa, <laughs> all right? So this is a vibrant and multicultural dynamic university of of Johannesburg that shares some very nice um, pace and energy of cosmopolitan, right? So it has a population of over fifty thousand students. Uh, 3,000 are international students from 80 countries, which is good, right? So they boost their strategy in this particular objectives, research, innovation, teaching and learning, right? So that is University of Joburg.
can see it also has quite a number of faculties that makes it uh, good or perform good. Uh, so you can see faculty of law, science, and so on. So if you're interested in joining University of Joburg, you can always check within their website uh, for more information, right? So that's number four. Number five, we have University of uh, Pretoria, right? So again, uh, this is a university from South Africa, right? So I know you are wondering, <laughs> uh, is it that the results are skewed in a way? Okay, I'm just basing my research from Shanghai ranking, right? So what you need to do is just to come and filter out uh, those particular universities, search them and you'll see the, nu the number, right? Uh, like I tried to search for one of our university, but it didn't even appear within the thousand, a thousand institutions, right? <laughs> so yes, University of Pretoria is one of the Africa's top university and the largest contact university in South Africa. They produce a lot of uh, researchers, right? So they have quite a number of uh, postgraduate and undergraduate uh, courses. So if you're interested, you can always check their website, scroll. So numbers don't lie. So they have 1,108 uh, uh, programs, right? Uh, that is uh, 303,000, they're about alumni, people have graduated uh, from this particular university, right? University of Pretoria, <laughs> that's another academic giant from South Africa. Uh, let's look at number six, Cairo. This time we are moving up the mountain or up the, m up the map of Africa <laughs> uh, to Egypt. So at least, you know, let's change... Uh, uh, the weather a little bit. So Cairo University is uh, rated or rather ranked number six in Africa, right? So all you need to check is the uh, various information from this particular university. Let's look at the research awards because uh, uh, this is what is making them uh, to be outstanding, right? So they have uh, quite a number of awards as you can see right they also have research projects that's quite a number let's look at quick facts and maybe in summary look at see okay so if you want to understand about the history of this particular uh, university you can look at that quick facts we have research projects there Mm, let's look at faculties and institutions. Let's see what they have. So they quite uh, there are quite a number of faculties and institutes, right? Quite a number, up to twenty-eight. That's a quite a huge number. These are some of the things, ladies and gentlemen, that makes them uh, be outstanding, right? And you can see, especially for the research. Uh, you can also look at the research projects and publication thesis and so on. So that is Cairo at number six. At number seven, we are still in Egypt and this is the American University in Cairo. So American University in Cairo is another well-performing university in Africa. Right? So you can I just proceed to the site and I see what they offer. Uh, maybe I can go to the accreditation, accreditation and see what they have. Um, hmm, facts and figures, so that we see uh, what. Okay, they have been there for hundred years. Okay, some amount that were given to support students, forty million US dollars, which is good. Uh, 
they actually have an employment rate of 95% uh, 95% okay other figures here total number of students who have been enrolled and graduate and graduate 6000 ratio of student faculty student 1 to 10 full time faculty they are approaching 450 Huh? State of art research centers, undergraduate programs, master's degree, two doctoral programs, graduate diplomas, okay? And so on, as you can see, numbers don't lie. And that's why they have, which figure is this? Okay, they have over 46,000 alumni, 604 alumni. And these alumni can be found within 128 countries in the world. Good. So that is American University in Cairo. At number seven, number eight, we move back to South Africa, University of KwaZulu Natal. Right? I think when I was young, I used to hear about this particular university. So it has been there for quite a while, right? So you can check with the KwaZulu Natal. So it's, it boasts of multiple campuses uh, as residential teaching, research. It has a proud, rich heritage, right? So this is a South African-based university. Ladies and gentlemen, so what we are just being told here clearly is that if you are in Africa or you are planning to come in Africa <laughs> for for further <laughs> studies, uh, you need just to move straight to South Africa. That's what you are being told by this particular statistic, which is not bad. As long as they are in Africa, they contribute into better academic standards. Right. So yes, that is KwaZulu Natal. Number eight, number nine, sorry. Uh, we still, uh, do we go back to Egypt? Yes, we need to go back to Egypt. Uh, this is Ain's, Ain Shams Univers uh, University uh, that is found in Egypt, right? And I had just to check the footer to confirm. Anulan bika fil bawabat al elektroniyat li jamiat Ain Shams. Welcome to Ain Shams. Sorry for that. That was just a uh, audio from the website. I've muted it. So uh, this particular ASU, right? Uh huh. The cradle of civilization and authenticity. That is Ain. Ain Shams University found in Egypt. You can see. Let's look at the, f the numbers and figures. Uh, the figures for this particular university numbers. It has uh, more than 21 faculties, uh, more than 10,000 staff members, uh, more than 155 undergraduate students, which is quite a big number. Uh, more than 20,000 graduate students, uh, more than 9,000 international students. With such statistics, you are rest assured that that's why it's being ranked, right? And you can look at the research also, right? They also have academics, dual degree programs, undergraduate. So if you're interested in finding out about this particular university, I check within their website. You can also look at the awards and competition uh, just to reinforce your understanding about this particular university. They have quite a number of awards. Okay, you can see. UK University Graduate Awards, Supreme Council of Culture Award, Nile Award, and so on and so forth, right? Lastly, <coughs> in our list, I believe you are still within South Africa. Mm, let me just be sure. NWU. 
Yes, uh, Northwest, uh, Northwest University is actually found in South Africa, right? You can see it has postgraduate studies, distance learning, right? It also offers short courses. It has different faculties, engineering, law, humanities, geology, right? So that's just some brief uh, information about uh, Northwest University. Anyway, let's, maybe let's look at just as a glimpse of what, let's look at quick facts. Hope they're going to present, it's a PDF anyway. So here we can see uh, it has managed to, okay, 85% of students have managed to graduate successfully. Okay, you can see quite a number of figures here. They have the highest number of graduates. So Northwest University, right? There's quite a number of information that you can find about Right, about this particular university. Uh, the number of female to male staff. So ladies and gentlemen, actually that is the one that is uh, Northwest, uh, Northwest University from South Africa is the one that is closing for us, our curtain. So I know I've rushed through these particular websites, uh, but at least now you have the information of the best top 10 uh, universities in Africa. Uh, should you find additional statistics on which is the best uh, university according to other researchers, you can always share within the comment uh, area. But be guided that whatever information you have presented, we have filtered them out from uh, this particular Shanghai ranking. Uh, websites, right? And that's what I've seen, even most of the uh, universities in South Africa are quoting. Uh, maybe to take you through this, uh, you can see the ranking, if you click on the rankings here, I don't know whether there is, you can see, uh, this is a uh, University of Cape Town, the first university. can see here uh, the Shanghai rankings, academic ranking worldwide university. So they use these statistics from the same website to position themselves. So they are first in Africa, as you have already seen, 160 in, world, in the world and the other stories. All right, uh, thanks.